again. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to create these drums. As you can see, these drums have a very interesting texture. So some some liquid coming down. We have some logo of radiation inside, some rust and yellow color. So for this texture, we need additional program. Name of this program Substance Painter. I already prepared this program. It is open it. Uh, so now I will show you how to use it. We are going back for my Cinema 4D. Okay, we no need any more landscape, just hide it. We no need any more camera for a moment. Okay, so going for primitives and create cylinder. As you can see, we have this very, very small cylinder. So now we have to play with size of this cylinder. It depends what kind of drums you have, you like to receive. Maybe like this, maybe only 70. So I think this will be good size for drum. So my height of drum uh, 200 centimeters. So I have to pick up it for 100 centimeter only. Okay. After that, I like to add some additional segments. How much? I think I will take total seven segments. One, two, three, four, yeah, seven segments. And I reduce, no, I don't reduce rotation. I will keep rotation 36 for a moment. Okay, like this, we receive like this result. After that, select my cylinder, rename the cylinder for drum. Okay, uh, going for editable tool, make it editable. Very nice. After that, take this access point and put it down for zero. So it's mean the point will be downstairs of my cylinder. Okay, what next? Going to front view. You see, it is my cylinder, yeah? Going to front view, going to point selection and uh, rectangle selection. So take it and select it. After that, going to scale and make it like this, something like here. Very nice. After that, select this middle one, going for scale and make it something like, something like that. Looks like very nice after select it and make it something like that. Very nice looks like very very nice okay what we will do now going for uh, these tools polygon selection select these polygons shift hold shift these polygons these polygons and these polygons going on perspective view going for these tools select and go for live selection now hold Counter on your keyboard and deselect this top going to down and deselect it down polygons. So finally you have to receive like this result. We are select only these edges. Then going for this tool, move. After that, right click on any polygons and find extrude options. Left click. After that, select any polygons and extrude it. You see what you can do? Just little bit, maybe something like, something like that. Maybe only three centimeters. So, looks like very nice. Maybe four centimeters will be nice. Okay, again, select tools, go to model, and we get this result. And it's really, really nice. So we are going for camera view and now we are try to find somewhere here we are increase. So this will be our object. This will be our object. We are take this drum, select this drum, only these drums, going for file, going for export and export like a FBX, FBX, select it. So somewhere Okay, I'll use same folder from my tutorial. 
we are going here we are going uh, new game we are going for tutorial and here I will select a will be drum okay FBX drum save now coming option how to save okay FBX version use the latest what you have I have latest 7.5 2016 it doesn't matter text file no selection only yes and this is very important I need uh, I need export for FBX only these drums not any other materials only these drums all other I no need. I no need any camera, spline, materials, nothing. Only like this. Push save. Wait a little bit. And it's already saved. What we will do now. We are going for uh, Substance Painter. Going to File. And New. What options we will use here? Nothing change. Just going for Mesh. Going for Select. And choice our mesh, which we are saved inside in our folder for this tutorial. Open. And you can see drums. Select and open. Nothing changed here. Push. OK. We will see. So we are create these drums. But as you can see, my material looks like not so good. Just try to. Oh, maybe we will use it. Okay, you see, coming on top and and really I don't like it. So we are going back for Cinema 4D. If you have same problem as and you are not satisfied, we are take a drum. We are going for these small options. You see this UVW tag. Select it and delete it. After that, we are selected drum. We are going to point selection. We are create all these segments, all points, right click and make it optimize. This is very important. After that, going back. Okay, so what now? Select drums, going for layout and select BPUV edit, something like that. So again, drums, we have my drum now. We are create new UV from project, something like that, push. And you can see I have some, some UV mapping. So uh, if you are selected and go in here, you can make a, some choice. For example, cylinder or sphere or something cube or many, many different options. But uh, OK, it, it, it is saved. Yeah. So just a moment. I go in here. Okay, so how to play with this? It depends what you like to receive. If you are just push, so if I'm going here, just push cylinder, I will get like this result and really, really is enough. For cylinder, it's enough. But I like to receive more interesting picture. So I'm going for line selection and double click on this top view like this. Then shift and double click on down so i like to cut these segments after that double click on front here and on front here so as you can see i cut my object for different different parts what i'll do now i am going for i don't know i will use a flat for a moment yeah i am going for relax uv here I will use cut selection edges and make it apply. You see which result I now receive it. Again, apply. Just a moment. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget to after relating, push this button. You see. I cut it and every cut segments will get different, different, uh, different places. Yeah. So just uh, keep it like this. Then again, select this drum going for file 
going for export, going for FBX, and select this which we export before. Save and override. Keep it like this with same options. Yes, is overrated. Going for Substance Painter, File, New. This we no need anymore. Discard and select any uh, drums again. Open and OK. And as you can see, now I have more correct UV mapping. So if I play here, I will get a result only here and not anymore. If I play here, I get result only in this area and not anymore. Very nice. So how to work with this program? We have it. First of all, delete this layer. We no need it. Push like this. Going for uh, materials and take any materials what you like. I like this material. Just drag and drop. This will be my drum. Okay. Very nice. What we will do now, you can change a scale of this material. As you can see, if I increase, I will get more interesting results. So I will take maybe five only, something like that, or maybe two, or maybe four. Yeah, I'll keep a four. So I'm satisfied with four. What next? Uh, what we are doing now, we are take some kind of, I don't know, maybe, maybe the, the steel roughness. Take it and apply on top. Not like this, on top, to receive this white line on top of this plastic grid material. Make like this. And as you can see, this steel material applied on top. So now, right click and make it make, 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 add bla black mask. Okay, now by this black mask, we will paint where is we like to receive the steel material. So again, right click and going for generator. So inside in generator menu, you see no generator selected. Just push here and select any generator what you like. I like to receive some deep in crust. Push like this. And you can see some result. You can see some result. So now I try to play. Something like this. You can play with settings. Yeah, why not? Looks like very nice. Looks like very nice. Okay, what next? Uh, going here and create a fill layer. Something like that. Change color of this layer for, I don't know, I change something like a very, very green. Okay, then going for, going for just a moment, right click and make it add paint. Yeah, and now from a paint, we are going for many, many alphas and somewhere find what you need. So I need some radiation somewhere here should be radiation. You can use biohazard. Okay, this is radiation. Take this radiation and put to the alpha. You see, it is. Uh, counter and right click of the mouse. Yeah, you see, very nice. Uh, or just a moment is coming on this material, so I take it and delete it. Um, just a moment, we are create. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. Again, create new layer. To this new layer, we are change a, a very green color. Something like this, yeah? After that, I create a black mask, okay? This black mask, and for black mask, I will add a paint. 
So whereas I apply this radiation element will give me a green color. I hope you understood what is going on. Yeah. If you have any some questions, just check my tutorials uh, with Substance Painter and you will find some answer. Uh, answer. Again, alpha, uh, contour, right mouse, increase how you like it. Maybe I increase a little bit more so it will be something like this and just push it and you see what I get. I get very nice result. Yeah, very good. So what we will do now? Now we are going and create new fill layer. This layer I will make something like a blue, maybe maybe light blue, something like this. Again, I create black mask and now I create a paint. Okay, so alpha, alpha I will use, I don't know, we are going for, we are going for this, apply this to alpha. Right click and contour, just reduce the size. So we are going for here and we will try to paint. We will try to paint here. You see? Yeah, something like that. This will be top. Okay. Okay. So we are get this something on top going down and it looks like very nice. So when we are finished with these uh, materials, we are going for file. We are going for uh, export texture and don't change nothing. We are keep everything like this. I just going for save folder going for my computer, going for D, new game and tutorial. Inside in tutorial, I will create new folder will be drum. Going inside and push it save. So uh, resolution for this drum, I will keep like this eight bits, nothing changed. Just push expert, wait a little bit and going back to my Cinema 4D. Okay, now we are going for layout and going back for startup user, like before. Okay, very nice. So what we will do now? Create new material. Double click on empty space. Apply this material for drum. Going for settings of this material. I no need any reflection, I need color take color, going for texture and don't push this, going here and push these three points. Okay. Now we are coming for my computer, D, new game, tutorial, drum, and inside you can find as you can see, it save it five texture. I no need it. I need only this base color. All other, if you use some 3D animation, you can use some hay, meta me metalness, normal, roundness, doesn't matter. I use only base color. Open. Wait a little bit. Do you like to create a uh, copy? No, I don't like. So keep it like this and close it. As you can see, my drum now have nice texture. Uh, we are going for camera, uh, view through the camera, okay, just a moment, yeah, something like this, take this drum and turn it something like this, push this drum down and increase, so uh, before increase I'm going for this 512, I no need it more, it's enough name will be 
drum in same folder okay but for a moment i no need saving i no need uh, i need only current selection just to check final result just pick up a little bit okay something like that something like that render and check what i get what result i get yeah looks like very nice looks like very interesting result uh, okay, uh, so maybe a little bit increase, maximum on the screen, something like this. Okay, for frame number zero, I am going for drum coordinates. For frame number zero, it will be like this. Number one, I turn a little bit. Number two, maybe something like that. Number three exactly center number five maybe maximum something like that so i render from uh, zero to four going here to render from zero to four it will be manual save save like a drums and render wait a little bit it give me some randomize you see yeah some randomize of my drums. So check final result, going to tutorials and I have these drums and it looks like, just moment it open it and it looks like very nice. Okay, so for a moment this tutorial finish it. See you in next my lessons. Goodbye my friends.